Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to do one on uh, the translucent Yupo uh, instead of doing photo paper regular. I've just have only done one on the translucent, so I thought I'd play around with it a little today. And I'm going to try three colors I haven't used yet, because I think I used the turquoise once, but I'm going to do turquoise, caramel, and clover of the Tim Holtz Ranger brand. And instead of alcohol today, I'm going to use the um, Ranger blending solution. Now, I rarely use this. It's To me, it's just too expensive. I use too much um, alcohol in mine to want to use. I could easily use this entire bottle if, on, a, on a little bit bigger size painting, um, especially if I'm struggling with it and keep moving the inks around a whole lot. Um, but I just wanted to do one because I haven't um, done an entire painting with this so far. I've tried it here and there in little bits and pieces, and I can't really tell a whole lot of difference in the way it works with the ink. So I thought I would just give it a try with the whole painting and see if it comes out any different using this. All right, well, I will get started, and I'll see you at the end.
like, well, I'm just going to leave this one where it is because if I keep on messing with it, I'm going to end up really hating it. I didn't really want quite as much negative space as I got with this one. But um, like I said, if I, if I keep on doing stuff to it, um, it's just going to end up a mixed up blob. So the blending solution, if you were watching this, you see, I hated it, hated it. I quit using it in the middle and started using the alcohol. And I will probably never use the blending solution again unless I'm just using it um, on top of something, maybe to put down a little bit of metallic. It, it gives the ink a really cool, shiny, glossy kind of look. Um, let me take down the camera here to where you can see, or the phone, where well, you can kind of see it reflecting even more than usual. But, can you see this over here? It, everywhere that it was, it left the... I don't know, a residue of it on the Yupo where I did not want it. I did not like that look of, because I can see it very clearly here. Um, just this, where there should be nothing but white, and you can see the stuff coming off. You see my little mistake there? <laughs> where I dripped a couple of drops of the caramel on there. Um, I, I really did not like that. I don't know if it would react the same with white Yupo. I would assume probably so. It's just, I think that's just the way it's going to sit on top of the Yupo. The whatever's in it that um, makes it a little thicker than the alcohol. Sorry, scooping my stuff here. I tried to put a white sheet underneath this so you weren't seeing all the bleed through from the the paper I use underneath with the translucent but I uh, yeah I I didn't like that at all I'm not I definitely for the cost uh, I'm definitely going to be sticking with the alcohol I think you know maybe if I had learned from the beginning with the blending solution um, I would be more comfortable with using it um, but since what I learned with was the alcohol, um, I, that's maybe it's just what I'm comfortable with is the alcohol. So anyway, that's the one for today. Um, a little different than some of the ones that you've seen me do before. Not quite as wispy, um, but I just wanted to uh, branch out a little and start working on a little bit different shapes. I tend to get stuck in the same rut and it seems like things come out looking almost exactly the same just different colors so thought i would try something a little different today um all right well guys thank you i appreciate you all watching and again to all of you who have subscribed i really appreciate it it's uh it's still a lot of fun for me i will keep on making these videos as long as you guys keep on wanting to watch them i love you all and i hope you have a great day today bye